Yo, what's up guys, the Insane Game Freak here. I mentioned this on my vlog channel, so I figured I'd actually make an official video about it because it's something that I think might help people not throw around the words next straw hat shit because people are throwing that around painfully. Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this. This is essentially my personal list. I want that to be said at the beginning. My personal list. This is not fact, this is my opinion uh, of what traits a fucking uh, straw hat should have and pretty much the, the, the prerequisite for straw hats. Now, obviously, this isn't really what Luffy has. This is more of what I think a straw hat, all the straw hats have in common. Um, some of them will be really simple. Some of them will be kind of complex. It really just depends. And the problem is there are a few of these that have gray areas. So this is not a perfect list. So if you come to me saying I'm wrong, I'm going to be like I'm wrong for having my, I'm wrong in my opinion. You know, I'm just stating my opinion here. Okay. And I'm saying this because I know how the new generation One Piece fans are and they're full of shit because I'm going to say this right now. Other than the Straw Hats that are on the boat, no one else needs to be a Straw Hat that's been introduced so far. I'm just saying. Fuck Jinbei. Fuck Vivi. My nine is good. We got my nine niggas. That's all we need. I'm sorry. I'm not a Jinbei Straw Hat fan. I think that's bullshit. And if he does do that, I'm calling that bad writing. Regardless, you know, as I said, my opinion. But anyways, um, that's, let's get into it. Okay. So the first rule for me is that you have to be a new generation pirate. Now, a lot of people want to throw in the argument of Brooke because Brooke is the only member out of everyone else who's actually had a previous crew before joining Luffy's crew. Now, when I say new generation pirate, people don't view, uh, people don't view, I think, it, it, I'd probably be safe to assume people don't view Brooke or Robin probably as new generation pirates because they're because they've been in previous crews. But the reason why I consider them both new generation pirates is for, for, for the first thing is people, you do realize Brooke is insane, right? Like, I mean, and I mean, this goes into my point, but here's the thing. Brooke lost his crew, the original generation he was supposed to be with, and has no bearing on the new generation as it stands. Therefore, I consider he's kind of like a, it's like his it's like his devil fruit ability. He he was reborn as a new generation pirate because he hasn't been a pirate for he's been like he's been a pirate for fifty years, but his actual bounty, but his actual standing as like a hardcore pirate, is kind of gone along with the pirate mentality. He's just kind of like mildly insane with just being like yeah I'm I'm been on the boat for fifty. Years. I don't I don't view Brooke as a new generation pirate. The reason why I don't view Robin as a new generation pirate is because I. To me, to be a new generation pirate, it's it's in to me it's more mindset than anything. Mindset and standing in the world government. I mean, in the world as of like now, Robin as of now was only really known for some shit she did when she was eight, which she really didn't do anything. She was just accused for some bullshit, and Brooke was just out of fucking out of reality for fifty years. To me, mentally, plus that Robin hasn't really been herself until she joined the Straw Hats, which I consider a new generation pirate crew. That's why I consider Robin and Brooke to be new generation pirates. And that goes against Jimbei, because Jimbei is not a new generation pirate. That nigga has been on previous established crews. And a lot of people will be like, well, what about the mindset? He doesn't act like an, uh, an old school generation pirate. He acts like a, he, I mean, he doesn't act like a new, ju new school generation pirate. He acts like an old school one. That's just me. He does not have the mentality of a straw hat pirate to me. Okay? Next thing, this is probably the most obvious. Straw hats have to have sad backgrounds. That's just, that's how they are. They have to have bad backgrounds. They have to be considered outcasts in their backgrounds in some way, shape, or form. And mind you, you can make an argument probably with Zoro. Kinda. You can, and you can make an argument, I think it's Zoro and... Yeah, I think Zoro's the only one you can make the argument for. And, and I consider him an outcast for two reasons. For one, he's the one who was so addicted to training, and he alienated himself from his friends. I mean, it's not like he didn't have friends, but he wasn't really hanging with them like that. Like, he, if you were to look at Zoro even in that perspective, he still feels like an outcast. Now, a lot of people go, well, Jinbei's an outcast. And yes, this is going to partially turn into reasons why I don't view Jinbei as a straw hat pirate. 
because I'm gonna keep referring to him specifically because people view him as a straw hat pirate. People were fucking saying Monet was a straw hat pirate. I'll get into that issue. The the most obvious reason for Monet not being a couldn't being a possible straw hat pirate butts the shit out of me, and it was so goddamn obvious since her introduction. Like seriously, there was no way in hell I expected her to become a straw hat purely within like the first few chapters because all her have any type of conversation. Or we got any feel for her personality besides this point. The reason why I don't view Jimbei, Jimbei is not does not have a sad backstory. He lost Fisher Tiger, but that's about but that really didn't become a staple of who he is. What became a staple of who he is was Fisher Tiger slash Orihime. And even then, the other difference is is that everyone else's backstory takes place except for Brooks, takes place when they were younger. Like way younger. Brooks' flashback is is kind of different because his is more of him how how he died. Uh, Jimbei's to me he was never and I mean even in a sense you could say Brook originally wasn't an outcast but became an outcast. And a lot of people make the argument with Jimbei because he in his flashback he's accepted almost all the damn time. Even through every event that occurred during the Fisherman Island flashbacks with him and Fisher Tiger and Odahime, he was never hated by everyone. He was usually still celebrated and respected even when he became a Shishibukai. A lot of people say he's alienated because he does, he's lost that title and technically he shouldn't be in Fishman Island. But I'm looking at him and I'm like, but the people still love you. Like, there was never a period where you felt like you were excluded because people didn't like you. I mean, honestly, hell, even Jimmy really hasn't suffered prejudice himself. Um... That's that's my whole thing with that, and, and as I said, there are holes here. So you, obviously, you guys can interject with your own opinions. Uh, my next prerequisite would be that straw hats have to have a dream, which is the more obvious one. And people who fucking say Jimbei's dream is to unite fishmen and humans, I'm gonna look at you and be like, when in the fuck did he say that? Usually, every single one of these characters have had moments where they're like, this is my dream, this is what I want to do, this is, and mind you, there's a, there's a secondary to that. You not only have to have a dream, but you have to have a dream that you can achieve that would, that would either be a neutral path or be a better path for you to be a pirate for. You know, most of the Straw Hats don't necessarily need to be pirates, but at the same time, it never negatively impacts what they want to do. Pirate King, you have to be a pirate. You know, strongest swordsman in the world. You don't really need to be a pirate for that, but you don't... I mean, it like, that one's a neutral pathway. Uh, building a map of the world. Neutral pathway. I mean, it kind of bends and fits you for being a pirate because you're already constantly sailing anyway, but you can say the same thing about being a marine. Uh, Brave Warrior of the Sea. He's idolizing his dad, so you can technically say he, could, he had to be a pirate, but none, as I said, none of these are being negatively affected by being a pirate. Um... Uh, Finding All Blue, one of those neutral, one again. Uh, being the best doctor, neutral. Uh, building a dream pirate. Well, I think he said dream ship, but I don't know if it's dream pirate ship or dream ship. I'm going to say dream pirate ship, but it also dream ship. Once again, you can either say pirate, heavy, or neutral. Uh, finding Laboon, neutral or shit. Uniting fishmen and humans. Well, how the hell is being a pirate going to benefit that, considering to the rest of the world, pirates are the bad guys? So you're telling me a fishman pirate is going to unite humans and, and fishmen through piracy? What the flying fuck? I'm sorry, that, that doesn't make any sense. It's like, literally, Jinbei's goal is the only one that, and that's if he actually has, has that as a dream, which he hasn't even stated, by the way. Uh, he, he, his is the only one that has a negative outlook if he was a pirate, because there's no reason to be a pirate for that kind of dream. And we all know one of the biggest things about the Straw Hats is that they're dreamers. What is, what is Jim Bay's dream? What, I'm just sorry. Okay. Third, and I guess the next thing would be, you have to have a distinguishing gag. As of right now, and also you have to have a have a very specific type of personality. Jimmy's personality is that he's overly serious. Yeah, that's about it. And there are characters who are overly serious. There are characters who are serious like all the damn time. Jimmy obviously has the variation. I mean, yeah, you can tell 
You can tell Jinbei character from, you know, Jinbei's character is not that distinct for me to be like, yes, straw hat material. And, and, and the other reason I make that argument is because if he was that straw hat material, wouldn't he have gotten on the boat then? And don't say because of plot. I mean, legitimately, if Oda had written him to be a straw hat from the beginning, wouldn't he have gotten on the boat? But that, that goes into another point. And this also goes towards Monet. Because I don't understand why I was so indifferent to Monet as a character. But the fact that so many people wanted her to be a straw hat just killed me. I was like, why? She totally clashes with Robin's attitude. And it just fucking throw, makes her less of an individual character. And I'm sorry, that is the truth. She's way too similar to Robin. In looks and in attitude, she is way too similar. And people can make the argument, well, you know, Uf, uh, Lu, uh, Luffy and Usopp are goofy as hell. Brooke and, Brooke and Chopper, they're all goofy and shit. Yeah, but their personalities, they, they still have their own unique gimmicks. Like, Usopp is an overly cowardice in random situations. Luffy is dumb as hell. Chopper is just naive. And Brooke is a pervert. And mine's just like, well, Sanji and Brooke are perverts. Yeah, but skull jokes, ladies' man. There's a, lot, there's, a, there's a lot more defining characteristics within those basic gimmicks. The only things we knew about Monet, Monet's gimmicks were okay, but her character itself was just way too close to Robin. She had that whole, she kept, not dark humor, but she had that whole flirtation gag and the whole, you know, if a, she, she apparently, I, I kind of hate the vet older that introduced that gag about her being, she, her being easily embarrassed by compliments threw me off too uh considering she has a it's like having a robin personality mixed with like a with a contradicting gimmick that's what monet is robin if you gave her a contradicting gimmick and that to me does not equate to straw hat jimbei doesn't really have any gags that's why he tried to make him so gag heavy in fishman island because it's like well if i'm gonna throw this in there i want to make it feel like it people want jimbei to join Oh, and that's the other thing. The other thing that all the Straw Hats are, they're on kind of equal level with themselves. Jinbei is obviously on a higher level. The nigga is referred to as boss. The highest level of respect any of the Straw Hats have ever gotten, I think, is fucking Frankie when he's called Big Bro. This dude is called Boss Jinbei. And he's mentored Luffy like that. Also, is the other thing. Most characters usually play a part in the story. And I'm not saying Jinbei is not going to play a part. I'm just saying, usually each crew member has some type of thing that they're geared towards. And a lot of people make the argument that Jinbei is, oh, he be the fish man. Listen, the argument for Monet in this regard was stronger, because at least you could say that she was in astronomy. That that's what she was into, is astronomy. Um, I mean, at this point, I think Monet probably would fit better than Jinbei. The only problem I say is that she kind of clashes with Robin a little bit too much, from, in my taste. I could probably be, I'd probably be more cool with Monet joining than fucking Jinbei, because Jinbei doesn't, it just feels weird to have a mentor character like that, like, Zoro keeps Luffy in line, we don't need Jinbei stepping on Zoro's toes, because that's what he's going to end up doing, considering how, what kind of character Jinbei is, that's the other problem I have, um, which is why part of my theory makes me think he's either going to be like the representative for the Straw Hats in Fishman Island, or he's going to die. Now it's Oda, so the second one has a very less likelihood of happening, but that's just my opinion. Um, I'm trying to think, is there any other Straw Hat specific gimmick? Because Jinbei has the fighting style. He has a very unique fighting style, which I'll give that. But then again, almost all One Piece characters have some unique fighting style. So it's not like Jinbei having his Fishman Karate. Which, to an extent, isn't that different, but still, it's different enough. Um, just, I don't know. And the sad backstory thing seems like a really cliche thing to say, but I'm just, I'm trying to think, make sure that's everything I have to say in terms of characters and what they should and should not have. Because I'm pretty sure I might be forgetting some shit, and if I am, you guys will probably point it out to me anyway. Um... Oh, crew dynamic. That's that's the other difference I guess I can throw in there. Each crew member usually threw in a new dynamic when they joined. For example, when Z well, I'll probably start from about Chopper and on. Because Sanji obviously threw in the pervert, perversion. Usopp threw in the cowardice, comedy. 
Nami threw out the like the gold digging asshole, and Luffy and Zoro were just kind of like bros and shit until Nami jumped in. Uh, each straw hat kind of brought something new into the whole dynamic of the crew. When fucking Chopper joined, obviously she, he was very naive, so he ended up hanging out. He ended up hanging out and correlating with Luffy and Usopp a lot, just out of pure I don't know what to do. You know, I'm I'm, I'm kind of childish behavior. Plus that he still kind of clicks with Zoro too, and obviously he's the only character that gets away with seeing Nami or Robin naked or in really skimpy clothes for whatever fucking reason. Um, when Robin joined, she brought that whole dead ass humor. Which I love. I love her more be humor. That's part of the reasons why I love Robin so much as a character. And she also brought something to the table in terms of the archaeology whole thing with the history of the series. I like that shit too. She brought something to the dynamic of the crew though. She used to correlate it with Nami. Nami always calling her big sister. Usually that was... The first time she does is because of the gold digging. But you know, after that it just becomes, you know, she, she correlates with Robin because they're the only two girls. Even though Robin's a lot more complacent with like stupid shit going on. Than Nami is, and it makes it kind of funny. The one she kind of, the one she'll probably, you'll see her hanging around the most is probably like Chopper, Frankie, Zoro. And it's not like she's hanging with them, but more she's just kind of chilling out and shit. Like, I, like she brings like that aura of just chill shit to her. Um, and she's, and obviously she's there for partially for exposition. I hope she gets a fight, but that's going into something else. I want her to get her own solo fight. We haven't gotten a solo fight for Robin since like fucking. Thriller Bark. I want a solo fight. And even that wasn't a solo fight. But damn it, you get my point. Um, Frankie, come on, perversion. He correlated with Usopp purely because of all the shit they went through together. He correlates with Usopp. And he correlates with Brooke too when he joins. And Br Br <laughs> Frankie Br Bill <laughs> brings out that ridiculous robot humor gag and shit. And Brooke does the same thing with the skull jokes. What is Jimbei gonna bring in? Fish jokes? Ha! Ah! I'm just like, what does Jimbei add to the dynamic of the crew? We didn't get to see him interact at all. And his personality, to me, isn't really there. Like, we know what kind of person he is, but he doesn't have one of those personalities that jumps out at you. Or just has something distinguished about it. Robin, even when she was introduced, seemed like one of those creepy, sexy ladies. When Jimmy is introduced, he's just like this man of honor, which means he's going to correlate way more to Zoro than he should, and it's going to... I don't know, that, that one, as I say, can be debatable, but to me, personally, I feel like Jimmy would cross too many lines where Zoro's important, and it would fuck shit up. Also, I don't think mentors... mentors or characters who are helping... Like, I feel like none of the Straw Hats became like Luffy's mentor when he was acting stupid. Jimmy straight out became that nigga's like, I'm, I gotta guide you back to the right way. Like, the fucking mentor shit. And I feel like that's weird for a straw hat to do to another straw hat to that degree. Because Jimmy did that to the nth degree, and it would just came off really weird if they were both straw hats. It makes, I mean, I don't, it, and here's my thing. I don't have anything against Jimmy as a character. I'm just saying. But those are my prerequisites. I'm probably missing some, but. I'll leave it here. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below if you agree, disagree, and your thoughts and all that other fun shit. Anyways, this has been the Insane Game Free. Life's a game. Play to win, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Uh.